Good afternoon Cougars. Today's bell ringer will be a little different. Today, I would like you to write a math poem. Mr. Draper, this is math class. Don't we write enough in Miss Fazio's class? Writing and math is good for you. It can show your teacher a lot more than just numbers sometimes. You're the best Mr. Draper. We always do the coolest things in your class. You rock Mr. D. Okay your math poem should be in the form of a limerick. Let me give you an example of a limerick. There once was a man from Peru, who dreamt he was eating his shoe. He woke up in a fright, in the middle of the night, to find that his dream had come true. I like the way that poem flows. Can my poem be about anything? No, not anything. I would like it to be about the order of operations in math. Order of operations? Yes, you remember. Grouping symbols like parenthesis first, then exponents, then multiply and divide moving left to right, then finally subtract and add moving left to right. Oh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Yes, you got it. That's one way to remember it. This sounds really hard Mr. D. Can you give us an example of a math limerick? Okay this was from my geometry class this morning. Amanda wrote this one. There once was a man who was fluent. In telling when things were congruent. He could calculate accuracy, without doing math you see. A real young genius, it's true. Wow. That's good. I'd like to try one now. Alright. Take 10 minutes or so. And remember to make your poem have something to do with the order of operations. You rock Mr. Draper.